Hi, this is Paul Morata. This is another TCLG two-minute tutorial about copyright law, some basics. Copyrights provided for in our U.S. Constitution, Article 1, Section 8, and it's administered in the United States by the U.S. Copyright Office. Copyright protects the expression of ideas, not the ideas and not any branding. Copyrights could include things like compilations, collection of other works. Copyrights owned by the author, and it attaches on authorship. Co-ownership is possible, uh, although if you're a co-owner, you have to account to the other co-owners for profits unless you've made agreements to the contrary. Copyrights are protected as works made for hire for those who hire people to prepare copyrights. Works made for hire are created by an employment relationship or by a written agreement. So if there's a written agreement that a programmer, for example, is preparing works for a software company and it provides that that work is a work made for hire, then it's going to belong to the company, not to the person who wrote the program. There's no need for formality in protection since the U.S. joined the rest of the world in something called the Berne Convention. But it doesn't hurt to put a C in a circle or the word copyright followed by the date of first publication followed by all rights reserved. You can register copyrights with the U.S. Copyright Office, but you don't have to unless you're about to file suit. There are two bases for copyright infringement. The first is proof of copying and the second is proof of access to the copyrighted work and substantial similarity between the two works. For copyright infringement, there's exclusive federal jurisdiction, and intentional infringement can include damages of $250,000 as statutory damages. All of that said, it's possible, for example, if you'd never read the book Moby Dick or seen the book Moby Dick, uh, certainly hadn't had access, if you sat down in a clean room and you wrote Moby Dick word for word from start to finish and you could prove that, that you never had access and didn't copy, that wouldn't be a copyright infringement, but obviously that would be fairly rare. That's it on copyright. Join us again for other topics.